let's take a step back and yeah. understand peptides. Um, what are they? Why are they different from proteins? And, you know, we talk about amino acids. What, what are these peptides? Yeah. So peptides for the listener are simply amino acids. They're simply short chains of amino acids. And by definition, anything shorter than 100 amino acids in sequence is called a peptide. Anything greater than 100 amino acids is called a protein. And then you can break it down to from 50 to 100 is a polypeptide, under 50 is a peptide, but it's all semantics. But it, it's simply a chain of amino acids in a very specific sequence that has been created basically to mimic peptides in your own body. So, for example, growth hormone, which our bodies produce from when we're going through adolescence and, and eventually declines as we get older, growth hormone is a peptide. Insulin is a peptide. We could look at thousands of peptides that our body makes naturally, and many of them have been recreated to be used synthetically, created to be used for very precise purposes. So you could take peptides from the stomach. For example, BPC-157 is a 15 amino acid sequence that comes from the stomach that is amazing for reducing inflammation. And it can help with uh, gut inflammation. It can help with systemic inflammation, joint inflammation. It's incredible. And there are uh, dozens of published studies showing the amazing benefits of BPC for inflammation. You can use peptides for immune function. Thymus and alpha is an incredible peptide. When I had the C word back in 2020 when things first happened, I had many peptides in my fridge ready to go. The biggest one was thymus and alpha, and it was incredible for my recovery. It was amazing. And I love thymus and alpha as well as a couple others for boosting immune function. There are peptides for musculoskeletal repair for tennis elbow and joint pain and, and healing after surgery. Thymus and beta is great for um, soft tissue repair. Peptides for cognitive function and memory and sleep and uh, sexual performance and uh, skin and anything you can think of, there is a peptide and it's beautiful because they're not pharmaceuticals, they're not drugs, they're not run by big pharma. And so therefore they're all by definition generic in the sense that they're all simply chains of amino acids. And they have very few if any side effects because again, they're isolated from our own bodies. They're signals that our body already recognizes just being used in a very precise manner. 